Wave Interference. In this presentation, you will learn what happens when two waves overlap. You will learn that sometimes they overlap constructively, and the two waves create a single wave with greater energy, and sometimes they overlap destructively. When they overlap destructively, the resulting wave has an en energy or amplitude that is smaller than the two original waves. The alternating loud and low sounds come from the constructive and destructive overlap of these two sound waves. Let's start with a review of the words crest and trough. The crest is the high point in the wave, and the trough is the low point. The crests are B and F, and the troughs are D and H. Interference is an effect produced by two waves passing simultaneously through a region. Constructive interference occurs when a crest meets a crest, or a trough meets a trough. A crest of two meets a trough of one. When they overlap, they produce a crest of one. A crest of A is headed towards a cr another crest of A. When they meet a point P, they produce an amplitude of 2A. This kind of interference is called constructive interference. Can you predict what amplitude will be produced when these when these two waves overlap. And what kind of interference is this, constructive or destructive? What happens to point P when these two waves pass over point P? Do they vibrate up and down, vibrate left and right, or vibrate into and out of the page, or remain stationary? The answer is four. Since the wave on the left overlaps destructively with every wave on the right, the medium remains stationary. Name this interference and find the amplitude when these two wa waves meet at point X. Rank the magnitudes at point A, B, C, and D from high to low. Make sure you ignore the negative signs. When we look at a transverse wave from above, we see a series of rings. Each ring is a crest. Between each ring is the trough of the wave. The distance between consecutive rings is equal to one wavelength. In this picture, we see that the distance between three rings is 0 0.90 centimeter. This means that the wavelength of this wave is 0 0.30 centimeters. Let's name the interference at points A, B, and D. The dotted lines are troughs, so at point A, a trough meets a trough, and that's constructive interference. At B, a dotted line meets a solid line, that means a crest meets a trough, and that's destructive interference. At D, a crest meets a crest, so that is constructive interference. The green dot shows a crest meeting a trough, so that's destructive interference. The black dot, a crest meets a crest, constructive interference. And the dotted meets the dotted, the trough meets a trough, so that is constructive interference. The picture in front of you shows the view from above of two overlapping waves. The dotted lines are the troughs, and the solid lines are the crest. Notice when you have two wave fronts in phase, overlapping, they form a series of symmetrical lines of interference. The left side is symmetrical to the right side. Let's take a closer look at this picture. The first lines that appear, the red lines, will show you where the constructive interference occurs, where the crest meets a crest and the trough meets a trough. The black lines show you where the destructive interference occurs, where the crest meets a trough. When two waves of the same frequency and amplitude head in opposite direction, they create a special pattern called a standing wave. The blue wave represents the combination of the two orange waves.